Gmodism, Total Nerdry Channel. You're most welcome back to Gmodism, and today we're going to look at how to recover permanently deleted files from a hard drive or USB stick or any other storage media. So we're going to use a tool called the Disk Drill, and I have already installed this software. Now you can use this software to recover up to 500 megabytes completely free. So it's perfect if you need to recover a couple of uh, documents or a couple of uh, pictures or something like that. So right now we have, uh, I inserted my USB drive. You can see that it's, uh, it's an empty USB drive because I accidentally deleted all files on here. And of course I can't click just Ctrl Z, I just, I, I just plugged it in. So look for the device that has a name you recognize inside the software. Now SATA, that's the connector inside the computer, so these are my hard drives. And USB, well that's of course because this is a USB stick. Uh, you can also look at the capacity. If you know it's a 16 GB drive, well, this is a 15 one. We can also check hidden items here and uh, see if anything shows up if you don't see the particular drive. Right, so here we have uh, this one. We're going to select it and search for lost data. And it's really simple. It's just going to search through the files. And here you can see we have uh, a lot of files here. It found 59 document file, five audio files, and 329 picture files. And it's only 2% complete. You can actually start looking through the different lost files before it's completely done. Here you can see we got some uh, equipment data on some uh, equipment I own, which you can see inside of here. We got the data, the GIFs, and sometime it can find loads of mini weird files that you didn't even know you ever had on there. I didn't know I had these schematics, for example, uh, that could be recoverable. A good thing is that we have some pretty good sorting options, like the preview window, for example. So up here we have the show and hide preview. And here we can switch to have it in a list or have it in tiles like this. So if you're looking for documents, probably list. If you're looking for uh, pictures, uh, probably tiles. Up here we can select to show files and here we can select to show it in folders. So like deleted or lost. And here we have reconstructed. So it's a little bit different. Uh, the deleted or lost often has some better recovery chances. Sometimes uh, reconstructed files can have some data deleted, which means that all the data may not be complete, especially if they're old. If it was a while ago, we lost it. Uh, if you recently lost it, you have better recovery chances. You can also sort here on different types of file size, date modified, so you can easily find it there. And here you can see it's set to all files. I'm going to select deleted or lost. And here you can see my Gmodism relaxation channel badge, my little merch logo there, and of course my second channel Gmodist. Well, good I could uh, get them here. So I already know I want to recover these. So we can click recover and I can put them on my local disk. And there we go. Now I just need to show recovered files in Explorer. And you can of course specify a location you want to recover them to specifically. Um, if you need to recover like hundreds of gigabytes, this will of course take a pretty long time. And you also need a pro license, but you can do that. And if you do that, you can export them to a, a external hard drive or some really big storage because otherwise if you're trying to recover hundreds of uh, gigabytes that was formerly on another drive they may not fit on your C drive so check that before you select the uh, location you want to recover them to. Well here we can see here's my logos recovered and nice and we can go back to scan results it hasn't stopped scanning yet it can scan pretty deep and find loads of files 
but since I do kind of know where my files should be deleted, I can select date modified. And I do know it was today. So we're selecting today. Now we're gonna do file type. And I know it's some type of document file. And we're going to click away from the folder and click to the file portion. Here we can see important info, super cool. And I know the other one is a TXT file. There we go. So we have selected these two. I'm gonna choose my custom location. And there we go. So isn't that nice? We have a text document here and the important info is even recovered. Beautiful. And again, if it's really old files, they may be slightly damaged and they might not uh, retain all the data, but it will tell you that if it's not gonna be good chances for you to recover them or if they're decent. But do know that the older the files are, the harder it will get. If you accidentally deleted some stuff, however, you should be able to recover the full files undamaged almost every time. Thanks a lot for watching and good luck with recovering your lost files. This is your host, Jim Desm. We are signing out. <laughs>